Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of t if we have square root of t multiplied by square root of t multiplied by square root of t and plus square root of 2 t is equals to 30. Uh, we solve this problem for the values of t and I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section now uh, the very first step we are going to do is first you see here this square root of t square root of t square root of t is multiplied by three times and we know that if any number is multiplied by three times we write uh, this number into the cubic form as in this a form here so this is this will be written as t as square root of t and its whole cubed and plus we have this is square root of t and this whole equation is equals to 30 and now uh, in the next step uh, we need to convert this radical equation into the cubic form uh, so for this we will uh, take here our x is equals to square root of t so when you take x equals square root of t then uh, our above equation is written as in this form so here we put uh, square root of t equals x this will be written as uh, x cubed plus when you put this value here it will become x is equals to 30 and now here uh, in the next step uh, you see here this equation will become cubic equation in x variable so here we uh, our next claim is to find the values of x first and after that we move backward and we can find the value of t so here in order to find the value of x we need to focus in the right hand side and we will break our uh, right hand side as we write this 30 as 27 plus 3 uh, and now here further in the next step we need to uh, write the we need to find the prime factors of these numbers uh, so that uh, we write it as x cubed plus x is equals to this is 27 we write it as 3 cubed plus 3 uh, and now here further in the next step uh, we need to move these two terms from right hand side to the left hand side so when you move these terms in the left hand side it will becomes x cubed plus x this is positive term when we move in the left hand side it will becomes minus 3 cubed and this will becomes minus 3 and this whole equation is equal to 0 and now here further in the next step we will make the pairs of cubic terms with cubic terms and it will be written as x cubed minus 3 cubed and here we have this is x minus 3 and this whole equation is equal to 0 and now here in the next step in order to solve uh, this problem we uh, we can use here the nice cubic formula you know about that if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of uh, a square plus a b plus b square so here we can apply this nice cubic formula so uh, for this you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so we put our a is equals to x and b equals to 3 in the right hand side of this formula so after substituting these values in, in this formula it will be written as first you have a minus b the value of a is x minus the value of b is 3 into this is a square so here our a is x square plus a b so a is x and b is 3 plus b square so b is 3 square and plus here we have x minus 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, you see here x minus 3 be the common factor which is uh, lies on both of these terms uh, so that we will take common x minus 3 and we get the remaining values are uh, so when you take common from here we get x square plus this will becomes 3x plus this 3 square equals to 9 and plus when you take common x minus 3 from here we will get 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need a little bit simplifications here and it will becomes x minus 3 times of 
x square plus 3x plus this is 9 plus 1 becomes 10 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now we divide this equation into the two cases. Uh, the first case is we write x minus 3 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square plus 3x plus 10 is equals to 0. So from here we easily get the value of x is equals to 3 uh, and now uh, from this equation we need to first find uh, the values of x and you see here this is the quadratic equation and we solve this equation by using the quadratic formula so first we can write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 3 and c equals to 10 and we state the quadratic formula as x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is our quadratic formula and now we put the values of a b and c in this formula and after substituting these values it will be written as this is minus b the value of b is 3 so when you put it here it will become minus 3 plus minus square root of b square so uh, b is 3 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 10 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as x is equals to this is minus 3 plus minus uh, uh, square root of 3 square equals to 9 minus 4 times of 10 becomes 40 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. And now further in the next step we have our x is equals to minus 3 plus minus square root of 9 minus 40 equals to minus 31 and it is divided by 2. And here you know that when negative sign appears inside the square root sign then it will becomes iota so we write it as minus 3 plus minus square root of 31 into iota and it is divided by 2. So here we have uh, three values of x are the first value is x is equals to 3 second value is x is equals to minus 3 plus square root of 3 iota divided by 2 and the third value of x is minus 3 minus square root of 31 into iota and it is divided by 2 this is 31 okay uh, so uh, further in the next step uh, we move backward and we put the value of x here so uh, the value of x in the start of the problem is uh, x is equals to square root of t we put this value here and it will be written as when you put this value here it will becomes square root of 3 uh, square root of t is equals to 3 so in order to find the value of t we need to take the scaling on both of the sides of this equation so that when you take squaring it will be written as this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here t is equals to this 3 square is equals to 9 this is the first real root of the given equation and now when we move from uh, the second case uh, here so we put this value of x on this equation and it will be written as a square root of t is equals to here i can just combine these two cases okay so it will be written as minus 3 plus minus square root of 31 into iota and it is divided by 2. So from here in order to find the value of t we again take scaling on both of the sides so it will be written as t is equals to minus 3 plus minus square root of 31 into iota and its whole square divided by this 2 square is equals to 4. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation uh, and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.